Hello everyone and welcome back to Bob's, I mean Bobby's Dandori Challenge Show! Woo! Yeah! Purple, we talked about this. Woo! Get off the screen, Purple. Alright. Okay, good. Anyways, last time on the Dandori Show, Breadbug won the first round. And now, we're moving on to the second round! Will Larry get his first win, or will Breadbug dominate? Find out soon! With all my awesome skills and training, there's no way that Breadbug is gonna dominate. It was a fluke that he even won the first round. Oh, oh no! I am so scared of your amazing skills that can't even pay your half of the rent! So what's the next challenge I'm gonna dominate Larry in? Oh yeah, the next challenge will be... Battle Enemies! In this challenge, you're gonna be taking turns using the Pikmin assistance to try to take down the enemies. If you correctly defeat an enemy, then you get a point. But if you fail, then your opponent can steal your point by answering correctly. Now, are you two ready to Dandori? Well, I'm definitely gonna toast the competition in this round. Wow, that pun was almost as bad as your acting. You might need to check your manual for a better pun. Alright Larry, since you lost the first round, you get to go first in this round. Using our Pikmin assistance, how would you defeat this enemy? Well, according to my studies, that's a Munchweevil, and they're only in Pikmin 2. And in Pikmin 2, Purple Pikmin are overpowered against everything. Plus, they're colors match, so that's gotta be right. Alright, I'm gonna throw this Purple Pikmin. Wait, wait, no, 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 you can't actually hurt the enemies. We already talked about this, I don't have liability insurance. Also, that shouldn't even work. The Munch Weevil uses poison, you should use a white Pikmin against it. Well, it looks like the purple worked to me. Uh, 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 fine. I suppose I'll give you the point on that one. It's your turn now, Breadbug. How would you defeat this enemy? Ah, uh, I think that's a Joust might. But I don't know how to beat those, and I don't know if any of these Pikmin are going to help me. Uh, wait a minute. I just remembered something. Ah ha ha ha! I'm gonna feed it a white pigment because they're poisonous. What, 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 what kind of captain are you? You're supposed to kill the enemy without losing Pikmin. Ah, uh, I don't think Bobby said anything about Pikmin preservation. Wait, what? Ow! Well, I guess you're technically not wrong, so I'm gonna have to give you the point on this one. You are the worst game show host I've ever seen. So far, each team has one point. Now on to the next enemy. Larry, how would you defeat this enemy? Oh wow, that's a Toadie Boyster. It's another Pikmin 2 enemy. So obviously I'm going to use a purple, especially because it's purple too. <laughs> that is incorrect, Larry. You should know this. This is Pikmin 2 knowledge. Toadie Boysters can't be whacked on their body, which means that Breadbug can seal your point. So Breadbug, how would you defeat this enemy? Uh... Uh, wait, this is easy. I'll just feed it the white Pac-Man. Uh, I mean, I guess that would work. So I'll give you the point, but this is getting boring. Both of you, just using the same Pikmin over and over again. So you're no longer allowed to use purples and whites. It looks like you have a chance to take a commanding lead, Breadbug. So, how do you defeat this enemy? Uh, oh no. I think that's a watery blowhog. But I'm not allowed to use whites or purples. Uh, this is really hard. Uh, wait. wait! Wait, 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 Oh, I'm so smart. I got it. Because the yellow Pikmin is an electric type, and electric types are effective against water types, that means I have to use the yellow Pikmin! Uh, no. That is incorrect. Breadbug, what universe are you living in? This is not Pokemon. Well, Larry, you have a chance to steal this point. Well, obviously it's a blue Pikmin, because that's a blue enemy, and blue Pikmin are good against blue enemies. But I don't see any assistants that are blue Pikmin. Well, don't worry. One of the sheer groves is actually acting as a blue Pikmin for this round. What? How is anyone even supposed to know that the sheer groves are acting as blue Pikmin? There's no indication that they are. Well, which one of the sheer groves is a blue Pikmin? Uh, I don't know. Just pick one. <laughs> Larry has tied things up by stealing Breadbug's point, and he gets to have his turn now. And now to take the lead, how will you defeat this enemy? Hmm, I can never hurt one of my fans. Oh, I know. I'm going to use a swarming shear grub. Because then, you'd have a buddy to go through life with. And they could get an insect condo, and go on all these wild and crazy adventures, become best friends, and live happily ever after. Wow, I am, I am so touched by that story. I'm going to have to give you the point for that one. 
Well, Breadbug, to tie the game, how would you defeat this enemy? Uh, what am I supposed to do with any of these Pikmin? Wait a minute, Green Pikmin, what do we even do? I'm an actor. Uh, how is that supposed to help me? Uh, oh, 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 I know, I'll use a purple. Uh, I already told you guys this, you're not allowed to use the purple. Don't worry, this is for a totally different reason. You see, the purple's gonna weigh it down. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll allow it. Wait a minute, it's a tie, and we don't have any more enemies. Uh, 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 wait, we'll go to the bonus round! Larry, how would you defeat this enemy? Wait a minute, I never agreed to do this. Ooh, I know the answer to this one. You cut them in half, put butter on the edges, cheese in the middle, grill them on a pan, add a few seasonings, and... Delicious! Oh, I am so offended! Mmm, that does sound delicious. Uh, I guess I'll give you the point for that one. And now, Breadbug, to stay alive in this round, how would you defeat this enemy? Oh, well that's easy. I'll just kick this freeloader out of my apartment. Well, that wouldn't defeat me. I have so many adoring fans that I'm sure I can find someone else to mooch off of. Actually, Breadbug, that is incorrect. Larry is very good at mooching. He still owes me plenty of money, which means that Larry wins round two. Now it is time for the third and final Dandori challenge. In this challenge, we are going to be combining the previous two challenges in one final challenge. You're going to be collecting treasure and battling enemies at the same time. So, how are you two feeling going into this final Dandori challenge to determine who is the ultimate Dandori master? Well, it is clear breadbugs are much better at collecting treasure, as I demonstrated in the first round. Well, this is a new round, and I have a most ultimate plan that is going to totally destroy you. And besides, you're not good at collecting treasure. You still need to collect my half of the rent. Oh my gosh, would you two stop talking about your rent problems? I've heard enough of it already. Can you think of something more original to talk about? Well, I... you smell like Hagatation Armpit. Is that really the best you can come up with, you moldy bread bug? Well, it seems like our contestants are already fired up. Now let's start this challenge. Ready? Set? Dandori! Alright, come on guys, it's time to destroy Larry. Alright guys, last time we took way too much time planning, so now we gotta go faster and I'm gonna come up with the ultimate plan right now. Hmm, a watery blog. Wait, I know. White Pikmin! No, 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 no! You are not feeding me to the watery blowhog! Besides, it can't even eat, you moron! If you try to feed me to one more stupid creature, I'm gonna quit this job! No, don't quit now! Breadbug, am I gonna have to revoke your white Pikmin privileges again? Alright, alright, fine. Uh, oh, I know, I'll use Larry's strategy. Purple! <laughs> All right, everyone, that's all in the plan. Is everybody ready? Let's go. All right, guys, swarm! Hiya! Oh no, the attacks aren't working. Oh no, I forgot about the spearing attack. Hmm, if only I had a rock Pikmin, because they're immune to it. Oh, I know. I know what you're thinking, but I'm a pro! Uh, does this count? Uh, I guess I'll give you a half point. Anyways, Breadbug collected his first treasure, which I'm gonna give the name the Water Pig! Uh, let's see here. Ooh, White Pikmin, you get that treasure, and Green Pikmin, you go check over there. Oh, Purple, you go look there. Alright, here's the ultimate plan. Little Bobby, check over there. Sheer Gubs, come with me. What? Where's the treasure? There should be a treasure here. Wow, I can't believe Bobby even considers this a treasure. I bet he's gonna praise it though. He has no taste. Huh, I don't even see any treasure here. Wonder why Breadbug told me to go this way. Oh, there's the treasure. Uh, Green Pikmin, what are you doing? Oh, Green Pikmin, Green Pikmin, put the camera down. Oh. Wait, is there a treasure in there? Oh, let me look. Uh, oh no, my head's stuck. Ah, ah, ah. Hey, Bulwark, can you be a treasure? 
Oh, well, it's nice of you to think that, unlike some other ball boys, but I can't help you by being a treasure in this competition. Well, can I have your hat then? No way, that's part of my disguise, I mean my outfit. Hmm, how am I supposed to get that treasure? I don't have any blue Pikmin. Oh, wait, didn't Bobby say that the cheer were acting as Pikmin? And that one of them's a blue Pikmin? All right, go get it. Oh man, Crimson Banquet. That's gonna require a lot of Pikmin. Oh wait, if I had a purple Pikmin. Hey, Sheargrove, be the purple Pikmin. I feel just like a purple Pikmin. My body is ready. It looks like Breadbug is taking a commanding lead with the cinematic masterpiece and... Wait a minute, isn't that one of my cameras? Huh, it looks like we got this challenge in the bag. Uh, Breadbug, I think there's a problem. What? Why are you in there? Uh, well, I thought I saw a treasure in there and I stuck my head in, uh, and it got stuck. Well, is there a treasure in there? Uh, I think so. Alright, well then go get on the mat. Okay. Larry finally collected his first treasure, the Soggy Mattress! And it looks like Larry's already collected his second treasure, the Crimson Banquet! Wait a minute, that's not a treasure. Uh, there's one in here somewhere. Really? I don't remember putting one in there. I can feel it on my head. Huh? Well, alright, I'm gonna believe you. You get the point. Looks like Larry's struggling with only two treasures compared to Breadbug's four. Now that's what I would call a Dan Dory issue. Ah, I'm dying of cringe! That joke wasn't funny since it began! I'm regretting getting into this job. Oh no, it looks like the ultimate plan is failing. Time for ultimate plan B. You know what to do, little Bobby. Okay! Hmm, I'm willing to bet there's something up there. Uh, Breadbug, we have a problem. What? Oh, a sneak bomb! Guys, quick, push it away! Huh, I don't remember hiding that treasure. Whoa, oh, oh, Larry! Larry, help! Grubs, go help out little Bobby! Come on, purple, push! Oh no, this is a mess. This is horrible. You guys have ruined this too. You guys are ruining everything. You're being mean to me. You're not listening to me. You destroyed the set and now this. Oh, what am I going to do? Uh, wait a minute. Oh, I have a really good idea. Neither of you have any treasures, which means this round is a tie. Which means that we can move on to a super epic intense tiebreaker match. Now it's time for the actual final Dandori challenge, the Pikmin Trivia! In this game, you're going to be buzzing in with your buzzers to try to answer Pikmin Trivia. If you get it right, then you get a point. But if you get it wrong, then your opponent can steal your point. Wait a minute, have I already explained this game before? What does this even have to do with Dandori anymore? Uh, I don't know, but I'm the host, so I can do whatever I want. Anyways, let's do the first question. What is a blue Pikmin plus a violet candy pop bud? Ooh, I know this one. It's a violet Pikmin. Incorrect. Breadbug, do you have an answer? Ah, uh, oh, a blue Pikmin with a violet flower. That is also incorrect. The correct answer is a purple Pikmin. Wait, are violet and purple the same thing? Well, according to the game show judges, which is me, they're not. So you don't get the point. Both of you are incorrect. Now on to the second question. Question two. If a yellow Pikmin brings a yellow pellet to the onion, how many yellow Pikmin do you have? This is easy. Two yellow Pikmin. Incorrect. What? That's basic Pikmin math. Larry, do you have an answer? Uh, well, I know if a yellow Pikmin takes a pellet back to the onion, he would get two yellow Pikmin. So that should be two. It doesn't make any sense. Both of you are incorrect. The correct answer is three yellow Pikmin. 
Larry, you forgot to include the Pikmin that brought the pellet to the onion. Huh, you guys are really struggling with this. Anyways, to the question three. What is in this egg that you can find in the distant spring? 100 Pikmin. That is incorrect. Breadbug, do you have an answer? Uh, uh, wait. This has got to be a trick question. It's a freaking egg. There's going to be nectar in it. Both of you are incorrect. The correct answer is the Smoky Frog. Man, you guys really suck at this. You know what? We need to wrap things up soon. First person to actually get an answer right wins. Question four. How many Pikmin types are there? I learned this from my documentary. There are six types. It is red, purple, white, yellow, blue. And of course you can't forget the best Pikmin type of all, the Baldman. Incorrect. How did you seriously miss Pikmin types that you've literally been working with on this show, like Wing and Rock? Anyways, Breadbug, do you have an answer? Uh, I don't know, like a hundred? Incorrect. What brought you to think there were a hundred types of Pikmin? Anyways, on to the next question. Question five, where do Breadbugs live? Easy, I'm a breadbug and I live in an apartment. Incorrect. What do you mean, incorrect? I'm literally a breadbug, how does that not count? Larry, do you have an answer? Yes, I do. I learned in the training for my movie role that breadbugs live in caves. That is correct. You actually got one right. And the funny part is, breadbug got a question wrong about breadbugs. Which also means that Larry won this round. Which also, also means that Larry is the Dandore Champion! Hey, Bobby lost his mustache. Wait, that bulbard looks familiar. Uh, uh, well, well, uh, that, that's the end of Bobby's Dandori Showcase Challenge thingy. Uh, come back next time. Uh, bye! Uh, uh what just happened? And are we gonna get a prize? Sorry to say, but there was no prize. What do you mean there's no prize? I thought we were playing for a bunch of money. Did you even read the contract? Bobby never said anything about a monetary prize. Who reads contracts? Wait, you convinced me to do this job and there was no prize? Oh, um, by the way, uh, I'm gonna be late on my share of the rent this month. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, you're such a mooch! All right, everyone. Show's over. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Bye-bye.